Morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So it's time to get ready for church. It's Sunday, and I am um, getting ready to do my hair. I'm all dressed, fully dressed, all the things. I'm a little risque in this outfit this morning, going to be in the house of the Lord. But listen, I believe it's going to be all right. The Lord is with me and all the things. So I'm going to get my hair done. Um, I'm just using a little bit of, this is African Pride Oil. I get this from Dollar General. My hair is dry right now. Well, the outer edges, the inside is still wet, but this is dry. Should have put a cap on it, but I like to do my hair last after I put my uh, clothes on so I don't get hair product on my clothes. This is uh, Jamaican castor oil. It's a detangle and sp a style spray. I just use some of this. I actually had some extra oil from that bottle and I just put it in here as well. This is like a wet to just wet it up a little more. I just spray enough to get it wet. Then I'm using some of this foam wrapping lotion. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to use. I saw this thing on YouTube. I think I'm supposed to use a mousse, but I couldn't find mousse, so this works. So I put a couple of squirts of that in my hand. And then I just make sure to get those drier spots. And this is exactly how I do it every day. Every day that I do my hair. Right, and I just rub it back. And then I take a little bit of this uh, Luster's S-Curl activate, activator. Put like a nickel size in my hand. Now that foam is white, but as it dries, it'll dry clear. So by the time I get to church, it'll be dry. And then I just tease my hair a lot depending on how I want it. Now, when my hair is long like this, it makes me look like a Chia Pet, so I don't really like my hair like that. I like to push any overlapping hair because it's growing out that comes over my ear. I just push it behind my ear. Same on this side because I don't like the hair over my ear. And then I do like kind of a little partial side part, so I just do that. Just give it a little shape and I am done. Okay, I'm gonna use some Dolce & Gabbana. I actually did some body spray, which is this um, champagne toast from Bath & Body Works. I do like this after I get out of the shower. Uh, but I don't have that, some women just have that natural, uh, their body does not absorb cologne, my body absorbs it. So I'll put it on and within minutes it's gone. I mean, it, it just don't do what it's supposed to do. But I like this. My sister got this for me. She didn't get it for me. I actually uh, was going out and uh, she brought some smells over for me. She knows I'm not a big cologne person. She's like, girl, we gotta get you right. <laughs> it was years ago. So she let me keep it, but it's not my norm, right? I am wearing just, um, CoverGirl's Matte Poreless. Um, two shades. I think I'm doing Toasted Coconut and there's another one. I can't remember. And then I have, no, that is, that's Maybelline Matte Poreless and then a CoverGirl powder. Um, I have the Urban Decay Naked on my eyes and I just have a Joa on my lips. That's it. I mean, I don't do a lot, y'all. We'll have time for all that. Okay. Let me go get my shoes on and I'll show you what my outfit looks like. And the kids and I have to be out of here in 13 minutes. So we are going to take this show on. the. All right, y'all. So the last thing that I have to do before I get ready for church is I've got to change out my bag. So today's, we started doing colors at the church for the worship band. And today is black and white. Now, normally I'm carrying my uh, Michael Kors. This is a tan bag. It's light enough for the spring and the summer. And I've carried this. Um, since my birthday, my sister got this for me for Christmas, but we didn't get exchange gifts because we do a three-way exchange between my sister, myself, and our best friend. And uh, we did not exchange till my birthday because my friend came down from, uh, she lives in Newburn, So she came down for my birthday and stayed over with my sister and, and we did an exchange then. Although 
Nobody told me she was coming, so her gifts are still in my house. Really? From two years. Come on now. Let's get it together. But um, I wanted to change out my bag. I try to just kind of color coordinate as much as I'm able. And um, I am... One of the things I've had to start thinking about as the Lord has brought us out of debt and we're walking in a little bit of financial freedom is do you, does your mindset stay where it is? Always about everything. I'm a thrifter. I'm a thriftinista, but I don't thrift now out of need. When I started thrifting, it was out of need. Now I just thrift because I enjoy it. I love to find nice things. And at certain price points, if I find something and I like it today and I don't like it in another week, hey, I only spent $4 on it. I'm good, right? So I have to, to train my mind now that where God is pulling me and moving me as I continue to mature and grow in him and live and business and ministry and all those types of things that I really have to begin I have to cut my computer off to kind of move in that in that direction so with that being said um a company reached out to me and I was so very thankful that they did because, you know, sometimes you just don't think of certain things. I think when you've lived in a certain space for a long time, you continue to live there and you never think you can have better things. You never think you can have uh, more expensive things, not even expensive things, but things that are worth um, a little bit extra. You always thinking on the lower level and I, my mindset is shifting in that. And so this company reached out to me and they say, hey, we we would really love to send you a bag. Would you be willing to do a review? And I'm like, hey, Shakima is here for all the review things. Um, my very first designer bag that I think I ever got was one of you lovely sent it to me. It's a Dooney and Burks. It's a purple. It's a really small bag. So I have to be going to a special place to, to have that because I'm a big bag girl. I, I just, I have stuff. Jackson has an EpiPen. I have an inhaler. Jackson has an inhaler. I've got... Um, a notebook that I keep for notes. Sometimes I'm taking a writing project with me in my bag. I've got a book. If I'm at the doctor's appointments with the kids, I throw that in there. They throw their stuff in there. I'm like, y'all, can you get your own stuff? Because really, I don't have time for all this. So I'm a big bag girl. And um, I enjoy the cute ones, the smaller ones. I think they're really nice, but it doesn't work for my lifestyle. Every, I mean, all my kid stuff goes in my purse. All my stuff goes. And Alana is 18. Why is your hair bow in my purse? But whatever. So... Like I said, a company reached out. This is Teddy Blake, New York. And y'all, look at how this comes packaged. Can you not? I mean, it's black and white day. Come on through, Jesus. I'm about to live my best life. So this is a, uh, this box lifts. And then you're able to see what they sent. I don't even know what they, I mean, I picked it out. But you know, you're only looking on the internet. So you're like, oh, I'm so excited. This is um, Teddy Blake's. Teddy Blake, New York, and inside of the uh, top, it gives you a little bit of um, explanation. It says, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. And I, I'm, I'm here for that, right? I, I wear, I use most of my bags. I use them all the time. I don't have just special bags for special days. Like I said, unless it's a small something, because um, I just don't, I, I have too much stuff for, for me to have small, small bags. Now, if I'm going, like my dad has Banquet. Banquet is coming up in October. And I've got to get a fancy, pretty dress. I'm going to go to Ross. Look, I'm going to Ross. And um, I'm going to probably wear a smaller bag just for that. But I'll have my bigger bag in the, in the trunk. Um, but anyway, it comes packaged up, um, bubble wrapped double package because they want to keep this nice and uh, nice for you and I love that so it comes in plastic then it comes in a bubble wrap and then it comes in a bag for you to keep your bag when you're not using it right to keep the leather all together so I'm pulling this out for the first time this is amazing y'all look it has the Teddy Blake at the bottom their name is there it smells like brand new, y'all. Let me live my best life. It is um, red inside. So let me pull out. Let me pull out all this paper. Because they pack it really nicely so that it is uh, not getting damaged. Okay, let me move this over here. 
So this is what it looks like. Makes a perfect Sunday bag. It may not be an everyday bag for me because again, I've got a ton of stuff, but I also need to downsize some of the stuff that I put in, inside of my bag. So it does have that red suede interior and then it has a second bag Teddy Blake, New York, this is like a wristlet. So if I wanted to detach this, this can detach. Uh, it's uh, on the back, right? It just, just has a little nodule that is uh, stuck on the back. I can take this away and just have a little wristlet. If I just wanna put my credit card, my cell phone, my asthma inhaler, I think could fit in here. And that would be really, if I were just kind of doing a, a, a grab and go, right? That would work. But I'm always gonna have my purse with me or some type of a crossbody bag or something, just because um, I carry so many things. But the red interior is so gorgeous. Y'all know red is my favorite color. I love all the things. And then it just gives you, it just has the Teddy Blake New York. It has all of their tags on there. So I'm gonna take those off. I am gonna jump into their website and let you kind of see some of the different bags because they had a couple other cute ones that I really, really did like. And I was like, oh man, I really should get that one. But when I'm looking for an everyday, well, not an everyday, but like a Sunday bag because I'm always gonna be dressed up on a Sunday. Um, when I'm looking for, I'm going to a business meeting or I'm going to, um, I'm at work, but I have to go to another school or I have to go from my school to a work meeting because I'm not in the classroom every day. I do tend to dress up a little bit more. So I'm just trying to find things that will accommodate that lifestyle. So what I do want you, look at the intricate detail on the bottom. That sewing is just beautiful. I just love this. So I am going to jump in and let you guys see what their website looks like. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of worship and we'll just kind of hang out for the day. Anywho, thank you so much, Teddy Blake, for, Teddy Blake, for sending me this bag. I'm going to love it and use it and it's going to be awesome. I am, again, uh, going to show you guys their website just so you can see the other offerings that they have. There will be a link in the description box below where you can get to their stuff if you're interested in anything that you see on the website. So just stay tuned. And um, we're going to hang out together. I wanted to bring you guys over to the Teddy Blake New York website. Um, one of the things I love to, is just to be able to see um, what everybody, you know, what they have going on on the website. A uh, review is good, but hey, let me see what I need to see. So, of course, the 4th of July is over. So I'm going to take you guys over to the summer, spring summer bags and uh, let you see exactly what they have available. And here are just some of their nice uh, bags. Okay, if you go to Shop All, this is where you're going to be able to find um, what the bags are. So I, I have an Alice bag. So this is the bag that I have. It is an Alice. Let me scroll down. It's the Alice uh, Vitello. Um, I think I have the medium bag is what I have. This is the black with the red. So this is exactly the one that I picked. Uh, they have them in different colors. They have the royal blue. So you'll see they have all the colors here. There are 25 different products here. You can get a small or you can get a... Okay, you guys, so this is the bag that I have. Well, no, this is not the one. I have the media bag. I don't have the small. Again, re remember, I'm a, I am a larger bag person. Um, I do need to be able to carry several things in my bag. So I have the Alice Vitello Media Bag in the black and red. And uh, here is what it looks like. I'm going to slide myself out of the way so you guys can kind of get a better look. There we go. So if I look, it'll give me all of the different views of the bag which I really like. Again, I, I like black. I like to be able to uh, match with anything that I'm wearing. And of course, today was black and white at a church for singers. And so here I am. This is the exact bag that I have. It's the media bag, which is a little bit larger than the small. It still is a little bit small, but I think what I have is just too much stuff in my purse. So <laughs> you can't judge it by me. I've got a lot of stuff. And so again, if I'm looking... They are uh, all the stitching. I love the um, the way that the bottom of the bag is situated. And I really love the inside that has the red, uh, almost like as a suede. And this is Italian leather. 
So of course, this is what it looks like when she's holding it. I did it at, over, the, over the arm bag, but I also can carry it on my shoulder as well. So either of those would work. They do have several color options that you're able to choose from. And again, you're going to get the regular bag and then you're going to get like a small kind of a purse size where you can put your credit card or your debit card or a little bit of cash and you can use it as the wristlet, right? So it has that it's attached to the bag, but you can use it as a wristlet if you don't want to carry the purse with you at all. So I do like that option. Um, they do have some additional bags. There were a couple that I was really going to uh, try, but then I saw this one and I was like, hey, I like this one or it fits the needs that I have in my everyday life, right? So let me show you some of the other bags that they have. So again, when I go back to their, to their shop all, uh, they have several additional bags. They have the Terra bags, the Bella bags, which are more like a kind of not a bucket bag, but it does have the shorter handles, which the bag that I have, the Alice has longer handles, right? So the Shiara bags or the Georgia, the Georgia bags have the smaller handles. The Ellas are the same. Uh, the Avas are the same. The Gigi's are the same. The Vanessa's are, uh, the Eliza's are like a bucket bag. Um, the Saren bags are, I mean, you. I just love all of those. Let me go back to the shop all page and see if there's some that we can. Uh, there are 857, uh, 875 items that you can look through. They have the GGs. Um, they have shoes. Okay, come through. We see you. I love all of the colors, um, just the array of colors, what you can use them for, what occasion. Some of them can be everyday wear. Some of them can be special occasion. I did not see the shoes previously, but I love those shoes. Um, you know, I am a shoe girl. I did like the Vanessa Blossom bags. I loved just that texture on the outside. I really like that pattern. Those are, it's very pretty. So they have the nine inch, they have the 11 inch, and then they have the 14 inch. So you get to pick, right? So they go from small to a little bit larger to a little bit larger. Depending on what you're going to carry in your bag, I think that um, these would accommodate. I like this Kate Bate uh, Batello, the 12 inch light blue. I love that. There, there's just a ton of these that you can actually go on here for any occasion. For it just seems like to me any occasion, right? And then it says they're all luxury leather handbags and purses. You can have a handbag, a mini, a micro, a pouch bag, a shoulder, or a crossbody, which I need to get a crossbody bag, a tote bag, a bucket bag. Um, they're handmade with pebbled, smooth, uh, saffiano, or exotic leather, over 300 colors. You have your basic, your neutrals, your pastels, your blights, your brights, or your dark colors. So they have something for everybody. It's going to fit whatever occasion you're going to. Um, it's going to fit your uh, personal style. Because again, I'm always looking for a classic bag. I don't venture too far into fun bags. I'm a classic person because I'm thinking about going to my professional job. I'm thinking about being a pastor. I'm thinking about going to different conferences and workshops and different things like that. So I'm always looking for the classic. Um, it may be that you just want something fun. So again, you know, you, you're you more than able to look at all of their collections from the Stella, the Sophia, the Kim, the Gigi, the Kira, the Ella, the Ivy. I mean, they just have a ton, a plethora of bags. And if you're interested or they have wallets. So if you're interested in any of these, please feel free to come over and check. I'm going to click on the Lola's and see what we can find um, to see if this. Oh, these are cute. See, I like the short handle bags with no problem. But a lot of times, because I could actually fit my, my arm is small, so I could fit that over my arm and wear it as an arm bag. I really don't always like having something on my shoulder, but I don't necessarily like having something I have to carry all the time. I need something that I can put over my arm and just wear it here in the crease or the crevice of my arm. That works best for my lifestyle and, and moving as quickly as I'm moving um, most of my you know, day and what I, what I have, what I have going on. So anywho, you guys, a ton, a ton, a ton that you can come in and, and pick and look at and just say, Hey, is this something that I would love? So that was style. If we look at leather type, 
they have different uh, leather types here. You move me out of the way again. They have the Vitello, which is the one I have, or they have the Palmetto. Palm Palmolato, let me say it right. Let's see what those look like. Very, very pretty, very pretty. Um, and then, you know, when you're looking at a uh, luxury bag, you're going to get wear out of it. It's going to last, right? You're going to invest in it in the beginning, but it should last you for a long time. This is not just your generic average everyday bag. If I'm going to pay an investment here, then I'm going to expect to get a long lasting wear out of the bag. And then again, just looking at this different type of the leather, you have 148 items here, 13 inch turquoise. I love that GG um, with the gold. It's really pretty. I try to stick with um, neutrals as much as possible because I interchange my bags with the different outfits that I wear. So I, I rarely get something that is like a... Um, specific color but i could see myself depending on the season uh grabbing a bag i love this vanessa palm i didn't even uh when i was looking at bags i was drawn to the other one because i really did like that one but i like this shorter um again the the uh the strap is much shorter on that one and that would fit on my wrist uh, like I like it this one fits on my wrist just fine as well but now looking again I would probably venture to the Vanessa uh, Palmoletto bag, the 12 inch, more than I would uh, the, the longer strap. And uh, so I would love that one. If I you know, ever had another opportunity to get another bag, I would probably look for something with a shorter strap just because, again, that's how I'm comfortable carrying my purses. But these would make an excellent birthday gift, Mother's Day gift, um, Christmas gift, if you know someone who you feel is well deserving, it would make a good your gift, right? One of the goals I had in 2022 was to self care for me and do things for me, which I have not done in the past. In the past, everything about my life has been with my children. There's a 15 inch. That's that's um, a larger one. Like that one. Hey now, Shakima, that's a larger one. But everything I have done has really been centered around my children and they need their needs and everything that they need. And I'm just really getting things for them. Well, in this season of my life, as I am beginning to find myself and discover things about me, what I want to do is begin to um, treat myself, right? I want to treat myself to the things that I never thought I would be able to get. And so here I am in this special season of my life when I am able to do a little bit more for me. Again, for me, you guys know I'm over here on the budget train. This would be an investment for me. It would definitely be an investment for me. It would be something that I would cherish. It would be something that I would take very good care of. It would be something that I would, um, you know, treat like, like an investment. This is not just for everyday average, you know, going out, running out with the kids, but for work, for ministry, I go lots of places for ministry opportunities and I want to be able to have the things that I need. Do I need to have a designer bag to go preach? I don't. However, um, depending on where you're going, there is a certain uh, expectation, I guess, is what I'm trying to think of depending on where you where you're going to minister. It could be an all ladies event. It could be at a church on a Sunday morning for everybody. It could be at um, a conference that I've been invited to. So as I move up in things in my job, in my career, in the ministry, in the business, I'm beginning to think forward in my mind. Right. So, again, uh, something I would do for myself. Would I buy myself one of these bags? I might. I probably would. But it would be a. This is a Shakima thing. This is an investment into you. Or, you know, my sister might say, hey, have you seen anything that you like? Because my sister is into designer bags. She loves them. So I would say, hey, I was on this site. I saw these bags. This is something that I really do like. What do you think? Right. So again, this is here for your perusal. If you see anything that you like, please click on the link down in the description box below. Check it out. Maybe drop a hint to your kids or to your spouse or your significant person and say, hey, I saw something that I really like today. Why don't you go over and give it a little look-see, right? Of 
according to their website, they're always having deals and specials. So kind of catch them on the right day. I think you'll be pleased with the, um, the product that you get. So thank you guys for checking out this review. you guys i do want to thank y'all so much for stopping by and hanging out with us it of course is not sunday any longer but um alana's getting her hair done and i'm just sitting in the car waiting for her so um yeah i want you to give teddy blake new york a check and check him out and see if you like it if it's something that you think you know you would love i've loved my bag um very blessed to have it blessed to partner with teddy blake to cooperate with them and again, y'all remember, it's nothing on my channel that I review, that I share that I don't love. If I don't love it, you know, I'll give them a look before I'm like, no, nah, that's not going to work for me. But all the things that I do love, I'm, I will, you know, promote it here on the channel and say, hey, if it works for you. It's just something about having a nice bag, having your hair done, having a new outfit. I don't know. It makes you feel a particular maybe it makes me feel a particular type of way and in this season of my life I want to feel that type of way right so I am moving forward in a more mature phase of my life and all of the things that you're seeing you may not be used to them but it does play into what God is bringing me into in these next season in this next season so anywho y'all check them out thank y'all for hanging out with us if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye now.